I hope everyone is doing good today. I do want you to take a minute to read the disclaimer. Um, just to protect me and to protect yourself, you should not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. This trading room is not a recommendation to buy or sell any instrument. It is designed to give you an education to make decisions on your own. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. And you can see I have a very simple workspace here and it's designed for the 20 minute binaries. 20 minute binaries move quicker than the two hour binaries. So you have to limit in some respects the amount of information that you're looking at. But then again, you don't want to enter too quickly because, you know, you're trading 20 minute period here. So I do like to have the volume on there. Let me I'll put this on both. Now, you know, I either need price to be at a congestion dot or I need it to be at an ATR. It's the only way that I will actually take a 20 minute binary. So we're going to wait if it gets to a congestion dot or an ATR, it will be shown right here in this radar screen. So I'm going to wait and see if something pops here. Now most of the time you will get um, a higher gamma on the 20 minute binaries. Yes, I am Marv. And I'll put it up on the uh, website. Let's see, I want to be looking at the Dow. And I'm not going to see how many trades I can get into. I've already stressed my brain out one time this morning. So, and you see that we have the congestion dot up here at 19.819. So, you know, if you want to snap a line over here on the five minute chart, you can do that. You know, change the color to yellow so you know that it's not your uh, floor trader pivots. And I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Sometimes I can tear this off and it works perfectly and sometimes it will not. And today's one is, oh, there it is. And this just allows me to keep up with the binary um, while we're looking at the charts as well. Now, if you look at the difference between the buy prices, it's about $15 of difference, okay? Um, between the sale prices, it's about $15. That's just indicating that there's a higher gamma on these trades. 
which means it either moves against you really quick or it moves in your direction really quick. I like those trades. <laughs> but you have to be careful with them. Now, do you see how you have the volume divergence over here? I think this market's going to come down. I'm not willing to risk a lot of money on these, okay? Um, and see how these numbers are jumping really quickly. I want to do this one, and it's a risk of 72, and I'm sorry, but it's on my other chart. And I think this is going to come down. Now there's 15 minutes left in this binary, and you can even change the chart to a five minute. So you're following more of the five minute uh, time period over here. Notice also that my ATR at 774 over here, and my strike price over here is at 786. So there's room for this to come down before it hits this ATR. Do y'all understand that? Hopefully. Now, I do suggest that you put in a profit target and in this case, we paid about $28 for that. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to set a profit target at 30. Now, you don't see me setting the profit target because it's off on another screen. Uh, it just makes it easier for me to manage this way. I'll show you over here, though. Okay, so basically we paid about $27.50 for the binary, okay, and I have a working order at 30, okay. That means that if the buy price gets to 30, it will automatically take me out of this trade. What I would like to see is for this bar to close under the low of that bar because it forms a three bar reversal. Three bar reversal means it will go lower. And this is the one I would like to see as a true pivot. That would make it stronger. Okay. So now we're just going to wait and see what happens. What do you mean, Dinesh? I don't have really a minimum time on the 20-minute binaries. Um, normally, it's, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, but I've been known to do it at five minutes before. Hey, Rick! You know, I think the one thing that you have to be aware of is when you're trading these 20-minute binaries, they can move against you or for you so quickly that, you know, sometimes you just, you don't have time to manage it, okay? This is why I focus on these, you know, little $25 trades. 
and sometimes it won't even be near the strike and it'll pop down and get your profit target just because there's such a high gamma in that number. Oh, I love that stuff, Rick. I was doing the uh, USD JPY before the market opened and I was, you know, basically that's what I was trading. I was just sitting there pinging off the the divergences as it was move up or move down. It was really cool. <laughs> and then uh, I had like, I thought it was seven, but it was actually nine trades between the euro and gold. And I recorded it, but I'm not sure anybody could make any sense out of it because I was busy trying to manage it. It was funny though. I love that stuff. Well, this was actually what I was referring to before, Dinesh. Um, do you see how you can save 25 bucks? You know, um, you could kill it, but these things move. The premiums on these move so quickly that a lot of times you just don't have a chance to kill the trade. And that's because you're doing, a, you know, a 20 minute binary. And sometimes, you know, if it just kind of plays in that area, you can kill it and say, okay, I'm not worth, you know, it's not worth the risk. But again, these are high gamma trades. Lock in a risk that you can live with before you ever enter that trade. Because, you know, they can move pretty quick. And these are, you know, these are the ones that I won't risk, you know, $30, $40, $50. I mean, that I'm just not going to do it, okay?
Yeah, and this may be one, Rick, that you need one more 20-minute binary to actually play out. Would you look at the AT on the five minute before entering in the afternoon on a 20 minute? Dinesh. Um, I don't think I'm following your question, Dinesh. One of the things that we looked at was when this bar was forming, okay, where was the ATR on the five-minute chart? Because I didn't want it to be too close to price. Normally, to check, there is enough volatility to move in 20 minutes. You know, when we entered that, we were God, within eight points of the Dow. The Dow can always move, you know, eight points. I mean, that's, that's nothing for the Dow, even on a slow day. I thought it was going to actually form the resistance here at the floor pivot line, Dinesh, and that's what this was showing, but it popped back up against us. This is why you limit your risk. Let me, okay, we got one on that. And this one, you would have to wait for a new binary on the ES. They'll come out in two minutes. I think it's half a point on the ES, so it's going to probably get here first. Mm -hmm. Let me the chart. Let me see. I'm trying to get them 
both on the same screen. Now I think I can move this over here. moving too fast on me now. See if this will go to 
You too, Corrine. Rick, how's your vacation going? Oh, that's nice. We're in the 60s today. It's the craziest shit I've ever seen. <coughs> Eight inches of snow followed by springtime weather. Well, it just does not want to cooperate with me today. Yeah, it, they're giving them a chance to come in, but they're not coming in. It's kind of surprising, but that's why I say the market will do what the market wants to do.
Yeah, I think the market's going to eventually go up too, Rick. I think the enticement of that 20,000 area is just too great for it to withstand. And we've seen a lot of days, Rick, where you get a big movement in the morning and then it retraces the entire afternoon. So it's really not going anywhere. We had that federal budget come out at 2 o'clock, too. I didn't even think about that. But it's okay. Yeah, tonight at 7. I'm probably going to trade tonight.
Did y'all hear me? I said I was gonna try it one more time. <laughs> Had my microphone off and didn't know it again. This will be the last chance I give it to go in my direction. The volume is saying it should go down. The stochastics is saying it should go down. Being at the congestion dot with volume divergence on the five minutes, should it go down? Yes, it should. Does that mean it will? No, it'll do whatever the hell it wants to do. Okay, this is where our strike price is. This is where the ATR is. It should be able to go well below this strike price. <laughs> we'll see.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a profit target at 15 in case it... What is wrong with this stupid thing? And I do that because these premiums will change very fast.
And so in all, there is three negative trades. I won't take another trade after that. Because either the market is not moving enough or I'm not in tune with the market. It's one of the two. The market's not doing what I anticipate. Step back from the computer. And you really do not want to get into just continuously trading 20-minute binaries because you can lose just like I did today. It's very easy to do it. Any questions, guys? Not the greatest session in the world, but there's be others. Well, it is trading. And I know I'm not in tune with the markets right now, Dinesh. And it's better to step away from it when you're like that. It's just trading. Uh, yes, in the Skype room. <laughs> I was trying to think, oh my God, do I have another webinar tomorrow? <laughs> yes, I'll see you in the Skype room, Rick. Uh, everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>